your midwife discard that placenta immediately after childbirth without checking it, without examining it to know if one or two parts are missing, then she needs to be arrested. She needs to be arrested. Do you know why? I'm going to be telling you this on this particular video. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room. My name is Messi Marie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you why your midwife needs to examine the placenta before discarding it, what they are checking for, and what is likely going to happen if the placenta is not complete. After the baby is born, the doctor or midwife examine that placenta thoroughly to make sure it is complete. Yes, they have to examine the placenta thoroughly. But first of all, what is this placenta we keep hearing about? In a layman's language, I'm going to be breaking it down. A placenta is more or less like a middleman between the baby and the mother. You see, when a baby is born, there's something called an umbilical cord. You see that umbilical cord? Yes. So that umbilical cord connects, it's like it's a tube. It connects to the placenta and that also connects to the mother. And through that placenta, your baby is able to receive all the nutrients he or she needs. Your baby is able to receive oxygen. Your baby is able to remove waste products from his body. So you can see that placenta is a very, very important organ in the body. After birth, after the birth of a baby, the placenta is also giving birth to because like the uterus have to contract properly for the placenta to go out. So when the placenta gets out, and the midwife or the doctor does not examine the placenta, definitely those midwife or the doctor needs to be arrested. First of all, what are they checking for? That's what we need to know. What are they looking at? Do they just check and say, okay, it's big and discard it? No, they are checking for something. So in terms of what they are checking for, they are going to be checking for the size. Though they don't normally wear the placenta in the delivery suits, they're going to be checking for the size and relate it to the gestational age. They're going to be checking for the shape. The shape of the placenta is usually round or oval, but you can have a star shape. You can have a different shape entirely. Different factors actually affect the shape of the baby, such as stress and genetics. Then they're going to be checking for the consistency of the placenta. The consistency of the placenta actually gives an idea if there's an infection of the placenta or if there's an infection of the placenta. And they are still going to be checking for the completeness of the placenta. This is very, very important because if the placenta is not complete, one of the cotyledons are missing. Definitely, if nothing is done, there's no manual evacuation, nothing is done, it can lead to PPH which is postpartum hemorrhage, postpartum bleeding. Yes. So that is why after the baby is born, the placenta is taken out. They have to check to make sure that the cotyledons in the placenta, all the areas, the blood vessels, everything is intact. Because when those things are not intact, that is a sign that they need to do some manual evacuation. And depending on the severity, this patient has to go to the theater to make sure that everything is removed from the uterus. Because if it is not removed completely, the uterus cannot contract. And when the uterus does not contract, that can lead to bleeding. That is when you hear, oh, women talking about, oh, after I delivered, I was having bleeding. My pad was filled with blood. I was rushed back to the hospital. I was taken to the theater. It's probably the, um, the placenta was not evacuated completely. It's probably based on the fact that there are some uh, parts of the placenta that remained in the uterus. So that is why if you notice me, some midwives, doctors, after they remove the placenta, they check the uterus. They try to feel if the uterus has started contracting, if the uterus is going back to its normal shape or spare. Right? So it is very, very important. That completeness of the placenta is very, very important. They also check for the membrane. When they are checking for the membrane, they are checking for the color, they are checking for the characteristics, they are checking to make sure everything is okay in terms of the membrane. They check the cord, they want to know the length, if it's accurate, if it's okay, they check for the cord too. They check for the color, they check everything in regards to the color, of, in regards to the cord. They, see, they also check for any abnormality. 
Does this placenta has infection? Does this placenta has infection? Does this placenta has a tumor? All these things are what the midwife is likely going to check when the placenta is out of a woman's womb. So that is why if you see your midwife checking your placenta, don't disturb them. Allow them to concentrate to visualize the whole placenta properly. So know if a manual evacuation is needed or not. So for those that are likely going to ask when the placenta is examined, the placenta is examined immediately after birth. Immediately it is taken out. For a cesarean section, immediately it is taken out of the uterus. It is examined. From a vag uh, for, for a vaginal birth, immediately it is taken out through the vagina. It is examined. Like Ella said, it is very, very important to take note of the completeness of the placenta. Because if the placenta is not complete, it signifies that something is wrong. That either manual evacuation is needed or a surgery is needed. Sometimes when the doctors doubt the completeness of the placenta, they might send that patient for a scan just to visualize the uterus to ensure that everything is intact. But if it is not intact, the scan tells them what and what to do. And they may likely go for surgery to remove those uh, retained products of conception. All right, so that is all I have to share with you today in regards to the placenta check. And I hope it is beneficial. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Messi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.